Hi, this is Adip. It is uh, 4th of June. To, to, oh, it's right now midnight. 5th of June 2020. Um, the condition of black people in the United States is unfortunately not much change. Though the United States elected first black president several years ago, but let's say 50% of Americans voted for a black person, but we have about another 50%. Um, a good, I think, about 30, 35% of them are racist. Uh, some very obvious racism, some a little bit kind of mixed, distorted. And they are also mostly in powerful places. They are powerful in institutions, they are powerful financially, they are the movers and shakers of this country. And also we have very well-organized uh, evangelical, evangelical Christians, about 30%, and as a block, they usually vote for the worst candidate. If you have two candidates, one of them is the biggest liar, they are attracted to that, Someone who, again, who is against poor people, they are for that. <laughs> if a candidate is warmonger, they are more attracted to that warmonger. While at the same time, in their churches, they may say, love your enemy, and they go out, vote for the worst warmongering, <laughs> killer, liar, misogynist, adulterer, immoral presidents. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But it is the same in other countries too. When I see religious people, I'm disgusted. I am disgusted from religious people. I am one who has no doubt about God's existence. I know that there is God, there is eternal life. I don't believe, I know it. And I have argument. I can argue, debate against anyone. I have debates in the past with the head of atheist organization in Turkey, the head of American atheist organization in the United States, skeptics, well-known or unknown atheists or agnostics. If you look at my YouTubes or check my biography, you will find out from Noam Chomsky to Carl Sagan or so many uh, I have discussed about God's existence. and. Uh, but I am disgusted with religious people. They are throughout the world. Those who utter God's name, usually they are the most ignorant, the most immoral people. They are liars because really they don't believe in God or truth. They care less about truth. When it is about God, any lies, they are clients, they are customers for any lies made up in the name of God. As long as that lie is camouflaged according to their culture, the way they are raised. And therefore it comes to them if they are raised in a Sunni culture, the lie, divine lie, in the name of God, this time in the name of Allah with beard, sometimes with turban and with some Arabic words, that's it. They swallow it. In Catholic societies, the lies comes in the shape of Catholic priest. And uh, they have their own terminologies. Basically, the way people raised according to their geography. If they are Hindu, they believe Hindu lies about God. And these are the most ridiculous and the, the most stupid lies ever created. Imagine people, what they do in the name of their religions. When they look at each other, they laugh at each other, but they don't look at the mirror about themselves. The Sunnis, they look at Christian's church, oh my gosh, they drink 
wine, sip of wine, they say this is the blood of my savior. Hmm. You drink the blood of your savior, and this is the meat, cookie. This is the meat of my savior, flesh of my savior. Hmm. You eat the flesh of your savior? Pretentious cannibalism. Holy place, respect, worship the cross. Put it holy places on top of everything. <laughs> what is it? What is the adoration? Ad adoration? Adoring, respecting, praising the murder weapon. This just doesn't make sense. Ridiculous. Or Trinity. Basically, one plus one plus one plus one equals one. Nicene Creed. Go read it. The most ridiculous, stupid nonsense. Because, basically, it insults your intelligence. They are all equal the same, but they are separate. They equal one. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Read the Nicene Conference and think. It is exactly, it tells you 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 1. And Sunnis or Shiites, they can see this. Uh, I'm going this one first. Uh, but uh, George Floyd's death, I'm going to talk about racism. But it is really um, religion and racism, they are interacting. They support each other. Usually the racists are the religious people. Religious people are the racist one, the base. They are very related to each other because it is both of them are controlled by evil. And then as soon as they can see this, or Shiite people, they can see they laugh at Christians, at Catholics or Protestants about the contradiction in their religion, in their practices, but they don't see their the nonsense in their own religion. They say we worship God alone and then at the same time they go worship a black stone. It's worship. <laughs> it's worship. They say it's not worship. What do you do? You show respect and you go kiss it and while trying to kiss it you step on each other. This is worship. An outsider can easily see you are respecting a black stone. You're kissing a black stone. What is it? Black stone? Do you kiss every black stone or every stone around? No. There's a particular black stone. If you do, it doesn't matter really. It's a stupid thing. But there is a particular black stone. You show respect to that. Not simple respect. You are in tens of thousands or in millions. You go, you kiss it. And to kiss it, you step on each other, you hurt each other, you push each other, you shove each other, sometimes you kill each other. And then you rotate around a building, which was a stone building, a building people met each other inside. Originally, those people who you worship them, you praise them so much, exaggerate them, and they what they did. Muhammad or Abraham, if it was built by Abraham, let's say, let's say by Muhammad, they basically, it's a simple building made of stone, they met inside, they discussed uh, public issues about how to help each other, how to establish peace and justice and freedom. They did this. On top of it, perhaps they put some leaves and branches to protect them from sunlight, that's it, from the um, storm, um, <coughs> sandstorm, that was the purpose, but later you cover it with silk, black silk, the building you cover it with black silk, a building which people use it f as a space, <laughs> and then how many kilograms of um, gold is used to write calligraphy around it. And then you rotate around this. Hello. 
Okay, it was a house for meeting, for public affairs. It was people's house, Congress of the time, or the municipality center of, of town center. And what happened? You consecrated building, and then you rotate around it, and you get stone in your hand. You have built the <laughs> the king, put erected some stones there. In time, the size of the stone grow <laughs> as if organic. <laughs> they, because the crowd when got bigger, the stone became small and invisible. If you look at the the stone, so called the evil, the devil, was small in 1920s, 30s, the picture of Mecca, you see, small. And now, it grew, it grew, became taller and taller. Not only one, it multiplied, gave birth to other evils. Evil is fabric manufactured by the Saudi Arabian government. They erect these stones. And people say, yeah, this is evil, the stone. And get stones and rock in their hands, stone the stone, pretending that they are stoning the devil. The devil is laughing at them. You idiot. You turn to devils. <laughs> you are, the devil is claiming that. Because anyone who does that becomes so stupid and idiot and the name of God do this nonsense, that person can do any nonsense, can commit any atrocities in the name of God, which they do. When their button is pushed, they turn to evil. But they were evil, they are potentially evil, because they don't use their mind. When God is invoked, they become stupid, and they become unreasonable. They can become also very arrogant, and they go kill in the name of God. Christians killed. They are still killing right now using proxy forces, secular, so-called secular governments, like evangelical using Bush or Donald Trump. But when they have direct power, they use this power to kill, to declare holy wars, crusades. Which hunt? Burning people, killing people, throughout history. Therefore, there are two evil people, two major evil throughout history. Their dogmas, one is nationalism, powerful hormones, your tribal instincts, and the idol is the flags of the nations. For that flags of the nations, for the idols, how many millions of people killed? Just look at the last century. And that flag is saying people go from here, go kill other people. If they are there, they go come killing these people. They don't check whether it's right or not. Well, our flag is faith. Wage, that's it. Our flag is wave, that's it. We go for the flag. Whether you are right or no, whether you have justification to go fight against them, whether they are aggressive, no, you go really aggress. Flags are used for aggression and bloodshed. Anyway, let's go let's see this incredible atrocity. Of course, uh, black, the history of black people from slavery to segregation and discrimination, racism, is endemic and chronic in the United States. Look at this. But mm, thousands of them are killed. This is just few of them that pulls our attention. This is the tipping point in America, where we finally address something they don't like to talk about. Rep the crowd erupting as word spread that the other officers were being charged. Okay, Second look at this. Murder for Derek look. Chauvin, the officer seen look at the... Put in his hand like that. How comfortable. And he was told, nine minutes. He says he cannot breathe, and people around say he's going to die, he cannot breathe. He's just watching. He's torturing him, and the other police officers protecting him, that police officer from the crowd, so that he will kill that person in public. 
And uh, this is serving Trump because Trump's, uh, Trump is uh, one of those dividers. Divide people and put them against each other by this way getting the support of people. When people's emotions are high against each other, they don't think whether this top person is crook, is a liar, is a thief. Look at the dictators. They put, they divide their people and they wave flag either against other people, their neighbors, or against their own people. And um, you see this all the time. And, um, but, um, let me see. I have a very fast paced. Uh, I want to show you how few, uh, just out of thousands of black people killed, we have few of them. <coughs> Look at this one. The murderer of this kid, uh, Trayvon Martin, for example, he was acquitted. That was, uh, I think, 14 year old kid. He was. Uh, returning from the store buying candy that's it and then this guy killed him and got away with it because of the jury system i would like to talk a little bit about jury system okay he is acquitted okay eric Garland. he was killed too he was suffocated here. He's no danger to anyone. He's not armed. And you see, they suffocated him. He says, I cannot breathe, they didn't care. Look at them. Damn with you. That's cowards, these police officers. Unfortunately, they don't stop. Look at this. It was a racist. Lying. Why we have cowards who see kids with no arms, they are fearing of their lives. Even they escape. From behind, they shoot them, not even one, 10, 15, 20 shots. They are fearing their life from their lives for the person who is escaping from them, from the kid. And they are the cowards. Why do you take cowards to police as being police? They are scared of from kid. They are scared from unarmed person and many of them around him. But they are liars. Of course, they are not scared of their lives. This is their lie, and then the jury follows, accept those lies, and acquit most of them are acquitted. Clear murder. They get away with murder, murder on black people. Why? Because the system is unjust, the culture is unjust, and there is a lot of, unfortunately, uh, racist people in the United States. Though you could say, well, America elected Barack Obama a black person while well, it was about maybe 50 percent we have another 50 percent who oppose him well let's say 30 percent racist that's enough and they are very not they are not uh, uh, poorest segment of the population they have in they are in high positions they control many of the institutions. They are rich and also they are powerful. And therefore they are the one who really designed the laws. For example, many laws like drug laws and stuff aim to really incarcerate most black people, mostly black people. The United States has the Lady of Liberty, but has the biggest prison population, both per capita, and also sheer number. 2.3 million people incarcerated, but the number of people who are going through revolving door is many more. There are blacks, the number of blacks are disproportionate to their numbers. 
black people are unfortunately incredibly oppressed in this country. There are people who think they are not racist, but they are racist. The way they interpret things, the way they kind of, they much do not care about the lives of the black person. But when looting happens, wow, they are looting, property, property. They scream about property, but the lives of the black people, okay, I'm sorry for that, just pass. About the conditions of the black population. It is because a systemic racism from slavery and uh, <clears throat> centuries of slavery and then centuries of discrimination, of course it has effect on them. Ch children of the richest of the rich, you see their family usually, mostly, they are still continuing rich and privileged. Richness and privilege can be passed to generation generation and also slavery and poverty also can pass and therefore we need to change it and there there, there must be a reparation also against Ameri uh, African Americans there must be absolute change cultural change the laws must change um, I have a video not video I have a uh, an article at 19.org uh, jury reached verdict we are the guilty please find that and um, watch that and I would like to also talk about the jury American jury system first of all many American people um, they may not think themselves to be racist but they are brain polluted by racist culture and propaganda from movies, through uh, rhetoric of the politicians, and uh, they have no idea even they are racist. They, uh, therefore, they're also obviously directly uh, very flagrant racist people too, but the, the worst really is the 30% evangelical population in the United States. 30% they are the worst people because they suffer from cognitive dissonance. They don't use their mind. They use so-called emotions. They are manipulated by the preachers. Whatever lies they say, they follow the lies. And therefore, they are the worst people because they can go church to ch their churches. They may say, love your enemy peace, love, and stuff, they come out, they vote for more military, more wars, they vote for warmongers, for adulterers, for crooks, for liars, for thieves, like Donald Trump, like George Bush. They were supported by evangelical church. They are the worst people. And like the Sunnis in Turkey, the religious segment of population supporting AKP, uh, Erdogan's party, they are the worst people in Turkey, immoral, liars in the name of God. They are racist, they are warmongers, they are cruel, they, they basically defend thieves and uh, plunder of the country. Incredible. And they have no honor. For example, Taip Erdogan said in one of his speeches, oh, very obvious, uh, would declare to the world, it was publicly televised, live television, on live television, in a conference, Tarım ve Hayvancılık Konferansı, what was it? Agriculture and... Um, livestock um, animals basically conference of um, like sheep and cows <laughs> and then it come for, in that conference you can find the videos uh, of him he says I am a shepherd ben bir çobanım ben bir çobanım I am a shepherd siz güttüğüm reayamsınız you are 
uh, the animals that I shepherd or whatever I um, I lead your sheep he said in fact Raya means um, animals in the far in farm kind of like uh, sheep cow ox goats donkeys maybe because of the association dogs he called people that he says I am leading you I am your shepherd you are my animals and they all say yeah <laughs> unbelievable therefore uh, religious population are the worst and uh, nationalism and religions they throughout history they are the worst in human history they the biggest atrocities are committed by people who wave flags or wave holy book yeah the sound of this is not good I recorded from my TV in the room and at one point my son in the kitchen is trying to cook something. We have... Yeah, Tommy Rice, that little kid, 12 years old kid, playing in the, in the park and someone called police on him and police comes the moment just sees the kid shuts him to death shuts him to death all this stuff here it is he's escaping the police coward look at him kill the person and i witnessed captain the tragic Later, in April 2015, the city of Baltimore is rocked. Freddie Gray dies in police custody. The 25-year-old... He's tortured. See? They're breaking his arm. And they put it in this car. Basically, his head hit to the walls of the... Minivan. Sandra Bland is pulled over for a minor traffic violation by State Trooper Brian Encina. Come on, put out your cigarette, please. Come on. Well, you can step on out now. Their exchange escalates, resulting in Bland's arrest. The video shows how quickly the interaction turns. Get out of the car! And then you I will light you up! Bland is found dead in her cell days later. Her death ruled a suicide. They lie, Susan. In July of 2016, Philando Castile gets pulled over. His girlfriend, Diamond Reynolds, they killed the guy in, while in the car. When she starts using her phone to live stream the interaction, Officer Geronimo Yanez opens fire, killing Philando. Oh my God, please don't. Okay. To your supervisor. The officer is charged, but later found not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. What is she? Then another tragedy in September 2018 unfolds in Dallas. Evil, pure evil racism in this country. <laughs> in March of 2020, Rihanna Taylor, an EMT, and her boyfriend Kenneth Walker are in her apartment in Louisville, Kentucky, when just before 1 a.m., three plainclothes officers arrive to execute a search warrant in a drug case. Taylor and her boyfriend think someone is breaking in when police kick down the door. Kenneth Walker grabs his legal firearm and starts shooting, hitting one officer in the leg. Officer, you got it! Officer! Stories, the names, well known. Okay, too many. These are just only a few. Seen in Chicago. Okay, um, here is this coward, look at him, 
he goes basically <laughs> this coward um, the day before protesters were around White House he went to the bunker the base he was scared of his life and then he turned the lights off first time the lights of the White House went off no one home exactly and now the following day the advisor said well everyone knows that you are coward you need to show some strength and they create security put bunkers around whatever fences and now he's walking a few minutes across the White House to a church he, he doesn't go to church he has nothing to do with Christianity <laughs> he, he, he's an adulterer liar thief and here it is he, he grabs it <laughs> look at him he cannot be worse than he cannot even do the act <laughs> <laughs> idiot here it is in the name of God he is okay we have a great country okay great country divider and um, right group like people Mattis called him a divider he destroyed the Constitution Mattis was his um, former Secretary of Defense a general he came forward and many others condemning him that he's dividing the country which is he's a sociopath he's a narcissist he's a liar is he doesn't care about anything except his gain and um, therefore he can destroy everything he wants to divide the country unfortunately the evangelical church is his support but 30 percent base they do not really care about anything okay let me find the evangelical church Ivan. Okay, let's see. I want to show you some of these people. And uh, you will have this one in every country. Like in India, Hindus, the religious Hindus, they will be the worst. They are the worst warmongers. And they will become racist at the same time. In Turkey, the religious Sunni, the most religious they are, the worse they become. Immoral racist warmongers and they praise the thieves the liars the worst people and therefore if there is there are two candidates one is a liar one is comparatively less lie the religious segment will pick the biggest liar if one is thief the other bigger thief they will pick the bigger thief is one is kind of talks about peace the other is warmonger they will vote for warmonger and uh, Obama was elected, you will say, by 50% population, but the other 50, mostly clergy, uh, mostly evangelical church, were against him. And uh, there are also uneducated racists in this country. Uh, they barely finish high school or high school dropout, middle school dropout. They are very ignorant. They are easily duped by waving flag or by waving a book this is the base of unfortunately uh, many presence in the united states and as far as obama it was a basically face um, mask on the system a very corrupt system we have great things in this country at the same time i do want to acknowledge like constitution like freedom of expression we can protest, we can, we have also branches of the government that checks and balances, of course. We have freedoms, uh, uh, I, I don't misunderstand me, but we have to also see the evil forces in this country, they want to basically turn this country to an authoritarian fascist country. We need to be alert. We cannot be really take it for granted. We need to fight for freedoms, 
for equality, for justice, for peace. And uh, unfortunately, the corporations, big corporations, have hijacked the government, and they are picking and choosing. And Obama, unfortunately, did not do much. He was giving lip service to many things. He didn't change the condition of uh, African Americans. Uh, not much change. Um, he got Peace Prize, uh, Nobel Peace Prize, but he killed many, many people with true drones, and uh, and also he supported Israel's atrocities, massacres against Palestinians, like in 2014, Israel killed 2,000 Palestinians, 500 of them being children in Gaza, a, an open concentration camp. Um, Israel of course, propaganda machine worked very well in the U.S. and uh, lost only two soldiers and Obama sent his condolences for these soldiers, two Israeli soldiers. Forgot about 2,000 Palestinians, 500 of them be children. And uh, here it is. This is Trump's advisor, evangelical advisor. See how it is. Wherever I go, God rules. There are many of these. I may put in the there. Look at the arrogance. Right arrogance. Paula White. <laughs> Can't believe it. This is unbelievable. And you see this in Turkey, in India, in many countries, in Saudi Arabia. They are the worst people, the worst people, enemy of Jesus, enemy of Muhammad. He's downloading. Madara Bakka Kraksak. Okay, this is law. Former messed up Mississippi girl. Okay. Lived in a trailer that they called trailer trash. Daddy committed suicide. And this is selling snake oil. Yes, record fraud, Sir Baker. Jimmy Baker. Liars. And there are millions of idiots buying these things from these stooges, charlatans, religious charlatans. Here is another one. Miss. This is not different. This is another fake religious charlatans. Father, we send out legions of mighty warrior angels according to Hebrews. We bind, cage, and chain those devils that are operating against Therefore, Donald J. Trump. We loose. A wall of fire in the they Holy deceive Coast in the name of God. Stay Trump away from America. Father, we any politician wave flag and, and holy book. Beware of those politicians. Any politician wave flag, know that he's tickling your tribal emotions with ultimately will send the children of the poor people to kill the children of the other poor people. If waves in, wave in holy book, you know it. He wants to use religion as opium of masses. These are the worst people, religious. We cut off every ritual, custom, ceremony, curse, hex, vex, spelling, cantation, chant, evil spoken judgment, magic, evil prayer, death. The biggest lies created in the name of God, they have no respect for God, the religious people, because they all believe the local lies created in the name of God. The worst, the most stupid, the, the most harmful lies. And they may be good people, but with why? time they why? turn very evil. Why? 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 <laughs> God Almighty. Okay.
Um, that's it. And, uh, therefore, we need to eliminate racism. We are all children of Adam or Homo sapiens. We should transcend the borders, fake borders created around us. We should not just, when flag is waved, we should not lose our minds. We should look at, if we are attacked, yeah, okay, so, uh, defend yourself. But if you are not attacked, nope, we are not going to die for your wealth, for your um, government. And also religion. When the holy book is waved by crooks, by thieves, by liars, nope, don't follow them. And of course, dogmas don't believe anything without extraordinary evidence. Claims about God are extraordinary claims. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. Well, religious people do not have even ordinary evidence for their extraordinary claims. Therefore, don't believe. Don't believe. Demand evidence. Therefore, a believer is dangerous. A believer believing in bizarre stories in the name of God and making the worst stupid stories as the highest goal in their life, they are the most dangerous people. They can act nicely today, but tomorrow their button is pushed, they turn to monsters and barbarians. And you see the church, when they have power today, a Christian church is using government as a proxy. They are not directly in government, but indirectly, still through their votes, uh, through their financial powers, they are supporting the worst people. And the same with the Sunnis or Shiites and Hindus. Therefore, the day when we don't have, uh, when we have the, the influence of religious clergymen, the less, and when we have less flag is waved, the better world we'll have. Flags are the idols of our time. Imagine in last century how many millions of people killed by waving flags. Okay, therefore we need to work together and save our government. We cannot do locally, therefore internationally we need to unite and save our governments from corporations and have a just social democracies and promote peace on earth. Spend more money and energy on peace, how to establish peace, rather than on weapons and military, and giving sociopaths a chance to make up uh, pretexts, excuses for wars, and either outside or dividing ourselves. Okay, thank you very much. Peace. We are now using drones to assassinate people without trial. Poor people who stand against our aggression and hegemony after killing one million in Iraq alone. The list of wars, covered operations, and countries bombed by the USA Inc. Incorporated, printed in nine points, time romans, single space, one line for each country. It's five times longer than my middle finger. With cognitive dissonance, every bloody list is possible.